Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin. I'm Sir Cooper and in the last episode we discovered blue Pikmin in the forest in Evil and got three ship parts from that area. And in this episode we're going to be heading back to the first level, the impact site, and collecting the final uh, final ship part from the impact site. Now, like I said, this level is just perfect for breeding up Pikmin. Seriously, and I'm, this is this is probably my favourite level in the game. I, oh, it's just a great level. Sure, it's very small and short, but I, I think it's it's, it's nice. Right, now, our first order of business is to breed, 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 and when you come back here second, this place just has so many Pikmin to offer you. Now, honestly, I'd just say get 20 of each out. Well, I'm going to get 40 of these. Actually, I'll just get 35, and then get 35 reds. Got a lot to do today. Alright, there we go. First order of business, breeding. So let's disband them all and grab our blues. Mainly we're going to be focusing on the blues for a while. Just get them carrying stuff back. Okay, so honestly, don't worry about any of your other Pikmin types at the moment. Just get lots of blues. This place is taking a massive transformation from last time. Don't waste the leaves, Mr. Pikmin. Okay, let's get these ones and pop you up there. Oh god. I have such bad hay fever at the moment, it's ridiculous. Right, um let's take the yellows. Right, yeah, let's take the yellows. No, not the reds. Go away, little one. I don't want you. Um no, I don't want the blues either. Go away, blue. Right, now up here is a massive yellow pellet, so we're going to throw all our yellows up there and try and get that massive yellow pellet down. We could give it to the blues, but we don't need to worry about that at the moment. There we go. Now I'll bring that down with them. Right, let's round everyone up. So we've still got a lot of Pikmin to carry. Now this bit always bothered me, I still to this day do not really know how to get up here apart from doing this, but this doesn't help you much. Mm. Anyway, let's get the rest of the stuff first. Right, now up here there should be more flowers to get. Something up there? Yep. You take that back, Mr. Yellow. Don't mind breeding up some of you. Oh, they're, they're getting stuck again. This is where Frog March comes in handy. There we go. Let's take some blues up here. You guys get that. Good boys. Right. Now I believe... See, I still don't really know how you're supposed to get over there. I mean, I could reach them. Maybe you have to reach some more of Yellow Pitman. Actually, I remember there's like a geyser somewhere. And that sends you up. Um, Where is it? There's a geyser somewhere, I know it. Are they breaking it? There we go. See, that is so well hidden. It's ridiculous. Okay. Right, let's toss all our Pikmin up there first. Up you go. Actually, let's send them all up here. This is what this is for. Go on, up you go. Up you go, up you go, up you go. Come on, come on, come on. We are actually being timed here. Yeah. Okay, now you get up there. Whoa, no. 
Absolutely not. I need to break all these down first. Right, first things first, let's get the yellows on there. Got them. Is that really all the yellows I've got? Let's get the red blues on there. Okay, I'm not really bothered. Just take everything back, guys. Come on. Okay. Then we can take these back. We're going to have so many Pikmin by the end of the day. It's going to be great. Okay. But first, we need to get yellows on here. Band, give me yellows. Go yellows, go. Ha! <sighs> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Go! Hurry up. Oh, there it is, the iridescent flint beetle. And what you have to do to these is just toss... Toss, um... Pikmin on the top of it and juice comes out. Which is perfect for leveling up you guys. You can find this beetle on day one as well. Oh, I ran away. They come back sometimes. Alright, I believe we've got enough of everything now. Phew! I don't think there's anything else left. Right, now that we've done that, we can attempt, remember what I said on day one, to get all these Pikmin up there, and yes, it's not going to happen. There's absolutely no chance. Come on. Come on. See what I mean? No chance. Alright, let's disband them all. You need to pick up all your yellows, because you need bomb rocks. This is your first instance of a puzzle that's going to require all three types of Pikmin. So let's pick up all these um, bomb rocks. I believe I've got them all. Yep. Yeah. Right, up we go. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Run! There we go, all open, I believe. Right, now what we need now is all our blues. We're not going to have enough blues here. Right, um... First things first, give me the reds and some of the yellows. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff to carry here, so let's just quickly get 20 of these on there. That should be 20. No. And the rest of the stuff these guys can get to working on this. Let me use a bomb rock first to break that down. Okay, there we go. And they can finish it off. Go, guys. Right. Now, what we need is lots and lots of blue Pikmin. So let's leave all our blues here and take these guys all back. So they're no use to anyone. Right, so let's put these reds back away. Should have got more blues out at the start, but oh well. And let's get rid of these yellow guys. You guys I'm probably going to need more blues than this, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, there's some blues there as well. Oh, that's okay then. Right, blues. Oh, and they've opened the door already. Okay, now we need to hurry and get the rest of these reds out. Put all the reds away. Just need blues. Just blues. No other colour is important. Let's just put everything away. Uh, there's a little red capsule there. Guess I'll have him go get that. Did he reach it? Yes, he did. 
Uh, go away. Actually, I guess we could use these beetles. Come on, give us the juice. No, yes, juice. That's what we want. Okay, you'll do. In fact, time's running out. We need to be quicker than this. Give me lots of blues. If we have time at the end, we'll be able to breed more. Not breed, and um, level up more of the Pikmin. Because we've got far too many leaf Pikmin. And that's a big problem. Let me just try and get it out now, actually. Is it hidden? Oh, yeah, that's the bastard. Okay, let's go. In fact, you take that back. Right. Now, this hopefully will be enough blue Pikmin. Hurry up, come on. There's always little stragglers where they trip over. They don't trip over as much in the second game, which is something I actually much prefer. Right, now these guys are a pain in the arse. You've got to quickly attack them. And then quickly get off, get off, get off. Quick! As they slam sharp. Like that. Anything in will die. Quickly. Ah! This is bad. Come on, come on, come on. Get out, out, out. Oh, they're not leveled up enough. This is going to take too long. Quick, get out, get out, get out! Oh no. Ouch. Jesus. Alright! You're going to die! You idiots. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it! There we go, got it. You still got to get out, though. Okay, now these little gem, these little pearl things, they only require three Pikmin, but they, boy, do they make a lot of Pikmin. I can't remember the number, I think it's like 20 or something. Right, as you can see, there's our shit part, and then we got to get that out. So let's throw, 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 throw. Come on, come on, come on. Shit, get out. Get out, get out, get out. The problem with blue Pikmin, of course, is they ha um, are the weakest of all the three types of Pikmin, so they actually don't do much damage. Oh god, that's gonna get him. Oh, this is so scary! Out you come, out you come. No, go away. Out you come, out you come, out you come. The poor things. Right. Now, we could try and get more blue Pikmin out of that, but honestly, that's probably gonna be a waste of time, simply because of how many Pikmin you lose for it eating. So, let, well, we'll get this pellet though, so what we need to do is get more blues out. Or better yet, in fact. Let's think about this smartly. Right, what is this? It is the the positron generator. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it, Cassie, you'll get an electric shock. So yeah, let's just put them guys on and then they can do all of it. And then the rest of our guys here can carry that pellet. Just find the blue guys. Or at least they'd spread out more. This is a much bigger problem in Pikmin 2, though. Okay, go. Okay. One thing that's very interesting, I actually want to show off that I haven't shown off yet of what the blue Pikmin can actually do. Right, so let's just disband. Well, let's throw our red Pikmin over there. We've got one red. Let's disband our Pikmin here. Now, what you can do is you can throw a Pikmin in the water, and look what happened. Look. Okay, maybe it's only in the other game. <laughs> I'm going to try keep trying to get it to work, because usually it does. I'm not sure why it's not. Hello. Positron generator. This electric generator is so powerful that it will, if you approach it, Kelsey, you'll get an electric shock. Well, yes, that is how all um, parts work. Okay, why the hell didn't you save her? I'm going to put it right there. There they go, look, the blue Pikmin will pick it up and throw the Pikmin onto dry land. Although, you did throw her the wrong way, but... She 
Shit, hurry! Who's gonna save her? Save her. Okay, you're not saving her for some reason. Okay, I've had enough trying to save Pikmin. <laughs> that's, that is basically what they do. It's very hard for them to do it because they have to be quite close to them. Maybe it's got something to do with their leaf or not. But that's the general gist of what you can do, which is actually really cool in my opinion. I'm glad they added that sort of mechanic, how the Pikmin will help each other. Which is really nice. Okay, um, let's just get the rest of our Pikmin away now. I'm ready for the end of the day. Up there, let's pick you up. Put you away into the spaceship. Now we will be coming back to this level once more. Um, in well, probably even like a bonus episode type thing, to show it off. What happens here on day or after day eight? Something happens in this place, which is kind of cool. But why am I putting my Pikmin away? I don't need to. Okay, now we just need to watch these guys grow. And try and grow them up as much as possible. Um, do I see a flower pitman anywhere? Growing plants. Pick you. I love the music it changes when it gets closer to the sundown. That's really good. Well, let's see if we got any stragglers anywhere. Oh yes, we do. Oh my god. Oh god, are we going to lose them? Hurry, we've got to pluck. We've got to pluck fast, because I want to have these for the next level. Pluck, 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 pluck. Pluck, pluck, you have to paint on them art. Hurry! Hey, you guys wait here. I'm going to go rescue our friends. Oh no, there's enough Pikmin here. Pluck you. Rescue. Right. Okay, I've got. F God, nearly lost five Pitmen there. Okay, we're not going to rescue them. We'll just keep with these guys. One Pikmin has been lost, but oh well. You win some, you lose some. We've bred a hell of a lot more than we're going to lose, and that's all what matters. On two. I just suppose I could have probably found the Pitman that I lost, but I can't anymore, it's too late. But oh well. End of the day. Into the ship with you. Well, that was damage control, I saved enough. Yeah, the problem with them, well, the jewels on the land you could just use red pitmen for, and that'll work so much quicker. But yeah, blue pitmen are really weak, so only use them if you have to to fight. They're really not good, and they're more of a hindrance to you, as their attack is so low. Red pitmen in this game are very, very good. Oh, someone got eaten. Bastards. I have seen that at times the leaves at the top of Pitman's head will grow into a bud and another flower appears. I do not pick the Pitman sprout, the sprouts that gradually bloom over time. Fascinating. This melding of plant and animal traits is surely unique in the natural world. I found the flower Pitman to possess increased swiftness. When in a rush, I found pressing and holding A when calling the flower Pitman forth with the arrow keys to be deep and rather to quite an effective strategy. I've also learned that new sprouts found growing on days following fierce battles are the results of seeds left behind. Okay. Look at that population jump for the blues. <laughs> Sprouted 180, lost 12, left behind 1. Our blue numbers are really high now, which is great, really good. Okay, so let's save the game. What they meant by the fierce battles is if an enemy dies, if you go back the next day, they will suddenly like scatter throughout the level, will just be Pikmin in, in the ground where they, well, where their seeds fall into the ground and regrow. Um. You can see it on the radar, but you can't tell what colour the Pikmin is. Right, now in the next episode, we will be going back to the Forest of Hope and finishing off that area. And then, well, I don't know then, but in the next episode, Forest of Hope. See you then on Let's Play Pikmin. Thanks for watching.